Okay, welcome back, everybody. Well, we're having a tea party today, and, you know, it's just a fun thing to do. Those iced teas, by the way, were absolutely amazing. I, I got to get some of those. Sometimes mom's got to buy her own gifts. But anyway, um, we're making some great little tea sandwiches, and these are something that I grew up with. I'm, I'm making a big pile of, because I know we're going to need more, um, of the egg salad, which was just some hard-boiled eggs and some salt and pepper, a little bit of good quality mayonnaise, a little bit of fresh dill, and then we're just taking that El Cheapo white bread, and uh, this is something that they served at a restaurant that we used to go to all the time growing up, and they still do, these little finger sandwiches, and you just put a big pile on the plate and keep going and going, and uh, before you know it, you've got a tea party. It's, it's just that easy and that simple, so we're going to I'll finish up these the egg salad because I know we're going to need more in just a minute. And I'm going to move on to uh, my other favorite tea sandwich, which is a tuna salad sandwich. And talk about simple. And we'll put them all together. And uh, it's just a real wow factor when you bring these cute little sandwiches out on a platter. Everyone loves them. All right. So both these recipes, as I said, they couldn't be simpler. It's really all about the presentation and the tea and the little goodies and things like that. So, you know, our egg salad was just so simple and our tuna salad recipe is going to be just as simple. So we're starting out with two cans of light tuna packed in water. And the, you don't have to use the fancy albacore tuna, which I love for many other tuna salad sandwiches, but not for these finger sandwiches. Um, these finger sandwiches really need to be very spreadable. It, you know, the tuna salad shouldn't have a lot going on. I, you know, I make a, a great tuna salad, more of a more gourmet tuna salad with water chestnuts and celery and fresh dill and lemon, and it's just delicious. Um, but this is just more of a real simple recipe. We're keeping it real simple. So I want to drain this real well, both these cans of tuna, and talk about inexpensive. I know tuna's gone up a little bit in price, but this is the stuff you can normally find on sale. It's the stuff I usually put in the tuna casserole, just the, the chunk light. I always get the packed in water for these sandwich recipes. I know some people swear by the the uh, the, the oil, but... Get all that water out. Drain them really, really well. Hey, we're still looking for your very best summer recipes, by the way. Um, we're putting together the ultimate backyard barbecue menu, and we need your help. We are looking for your best summer salad recipe, your best summer appetizer recipe. Uh, do you make a really fun signature cocktail that's great in the summer, or maybe a non-alcoholic, really refreshing drink that's just wonderful in the summer? Uh, what about a fabulous summer dessert? And can't forget the main course. Do you make stuffed burgers or uh, great steaks with a super marinade, or you do smoked ribs or turkey or uh, pulled pork? We need to know about it. What we're going to do is we're going to put two finalists in each of these categories, and you're going to come on the show, and you're going to cook with me. going to have a little cook-off. Lots of winners, lots of great prizes, just going to be a ton of fun. Um, we need your recipes, so time is running out. I gave you an assignment over the weekend, and if you didn't do it over the weekend, you got to do it today. Get us those recipes, and you can get them to us by going to our website, fox11online.com, and click on uh, Ultimate Backyard Barbecue. Fill out the information there along with your recipe. You can also mail those recipes to Living with Amy. Backyard Barbecue, P.O. Box 19011, Green Bay, 54307. Make sure if you mail them to us, you include your name and your phone number and your email and, of course, the recipe so we can get a hold of you. You can also drop off your recipes here at the station. So get us those recipes. We need them soon. All right, back to the tuna salad. We've got two cans of well-drained light tuna. Packed in water. Deb, I'm going to have you help me hurry this along a little bit. Uh, again, like with the, um, the the egg salad sandwiches, we're using the very inexpensive, the really soft wheat bread. Um, this is the other kind of bread that I buy a lot to get, because my kids will eat it. So it's the inexpensive, and we're going to cut off the crust, just like we did 
save these for later. So I'm going to have you, do you mind cutting off the crust of a few of those? Wonderful. Deb's going to help me out here. All right, I'm going to get back to the tuna salad. We're going to use, again, some mayonnaise. I always like to start with a little. I can always add more. And I like some dill. I'm a big fan of dill pickle. And I believe at the Sugar Bowl, where I believe they used the dill pickle relish. If they didn't, that's what I prefer. So um, just a little bit of the dill pickle relish, and that's it. That's the recipe. I told you it was easy. So two cans of tuna, a little bit of mayo, and dill pickle. If you don't like dill, you could use the sweet. Do a little bit more mayonnaise in here. And again, we want this to be a spread. But every can of tuna is a little different, so hard to give you an exact amount. I just kind of eyeball it. I always start with a little and I can always do more. Eh, let's do a little bit more. It's just me. It seems like we need a little bit more in the tuna than in the egg mayonnaise. And real good quality mayonnaise. Again, we're not using the salad dressing. That's just a little too sweet in my book. We're using regular mayonnaise. Okay, so Deb's getting to work there on my wheat bread. Again, the inexpensive wheat bread. Thank you very much. Cut off the crust. We're going to use those in meatloaf or meatballs. Just put them in a Ziploc baggie. And, uh, and the same that we did for the egg salad. We're going to butter, lightly butter one side. And this is real softened butter because this bread tears apart really easily. So we want to make sure that butter is at room temperature, real spreadable. And once you get the assembly line going, really, it's quick. All right. I'm just going to spread a little bit on each of the sandwiches. Tops go on. And again, we're going to slice, slice these. Don't overfill these. These are tea sandwiches. It's not like you're going to the deli and you, you know, those big sandwiches where you can barely get, you know, them in your mouth. This is the ladies' little luncheon, so we're going to keep it simple. And Deb, could I borrow that knife? Thank you. And we'll just slice these up again on the angle. If you wanted to be creative, you could use the cookie cutters again. And if you wanted to save a step, you don't even have to cut the crusts off. If you just slice them on the angle, they really look cute too. So just right across. Pile them up on your plate. Put them next to the... Got to offer both. Got to offer the egg and the tuna in my book at the Ladies' Little Luncheon. Recipes are on our website. You can also pick them up at any festival foods. I'm just going to keep making those sandwiches. I know the crew is going to eat them.